Hi and welcome back for another video. Uh, this is an unboxing of Samsung Galaxy J3. It comes with the NFC tag. I mean, uh, yes, bike mode. It is a budget Android device from Samsung. Here on the back, the specifications are mentioned. Have a look at them. I will pause the video for a few seconds so that you can see what specification the smartphone provides. I'm going to overview all the specification when I will be doing a review, I mean, a quick look at the smartphone. So now let us go ahead and open it. Not that the seal is broken. Let me get the items out of the box. Oh, it was tight. So this is the box friends. It's time to get all the things out of the box. So this seems uh, to be the smartphone. Actually, this is the smartphone. I will keep it on this side and remove the other items. The second thing I see is a quick start guide. After that, these are all the accessories. This is the charger. The USB cable. It's in white color. This is headset. And finally, the battery. The NFC sticker is also there. So these are all the items that were in the box, the phone, the charger, the cable, the USB cable actually, the headset, the NFC stickers, battery and a quick start guide. So here I am going to skip the first boot part because it takes a lot of time to boot the device and then it also takes a lot of time to insert the battery and everything else into the smartphone and then the first setup is also a hideous task and that takes around 10 minutes and I don't want to keep my camera on recording the, the, all these things for 10 minutes and then editing them for more 10 more minutes and then also uploading them on YouTube. Now I just want to jump in to the review of this smartphone right now now you are looking at the device so this is the box this is the smartphone and this is the quick start guide all the other accessories i have put them back in the box and this is all the smartphone that you are now going to see and this is the smartphone that i'm going to talk right now this is the samsung galaxy j3 2016 version it comes with 4g it comes with nfc tag there are very lot many uh, features that this smartphone comes with and then now let me say the very first thing about this device this is really very interesting device in fact i have uh, this is the beautiful device from samsung i have seen yes the, the uh, galaxy s7 is beautiful the edge is beautiful the note 5 is also beautiful but here in this case this is a budget Android device from Samsung and when compa you compare with the other budget uh, smartphones from Samsung that came out previously before this smartphone, they were all not so good looking as this smartphone is. I will show you what I am talking about by zooming towards this uh, smartphone. This smartphone has been provided with a leather feel back. Uh, the finish is uh, like leather, uh, it uh, seems like they have used an original leather, actually it feels like they have used uh, uh, original leather and it seems and it uh, looks like if they have used an original leather but it is just the finish and nothing else, it is just a plastic and, uh, and that plastic has been provided with the uh, leather finish and that's it, uh, there is no other thing and now this, uh, the, this finish of the Samsung Galaxy J6 does not attract any fingerprint at all and you can see i am moving my uh, finger over the back of the smartphone and it is not at all attracting any fingerprint at all it is clean it is smooth and there is no uh, uh, fingerprint that is going over it there is one more smartphone that is that comes in golden color and i had uh, reviewed it previously actually i have not done the review of the smartphone yet uh, but i have done the unboxing and various other things this is the lenovo vibe k5 plus and you have seen this already on my channel i'm going to compare these two smartphones in a later video but right now i just want to talk about the design of both these smartphones you can see that both of them are in golden color this one is dark golden and this one is light golden but the top and the bottom of this uh, the Lenovo Vibe K5 Plus 
are dark gold in, in dark in gold but actually it is in dark golden color and this bottom is also uh, dark golden color but here in the middle they have lightened the tone of the color as, and this looks good beautiful it adds design uh, to the smartphone but, but in this case of Samsung Galaxy J3 it is solid gold uh, color but it has a leather finish it has smooth finish it also does not attract fingerprint and uh, that is good about this uh, this uh, back of the Lenovo Vibe K5 plus also but one thing to note here is that whoever used uh, took this smartphone from me and have uh, used in uh, in their hand they have said that it has a slippery back it uh, tend to slip out of the hand and in fact uh, it also slipped from one of uh, my friend's hand and they said uh, they asked me to add a cover to this smartphone but i did not uh, add it, uh, any color uh, any cover because uh, this smartphone's beauty will go away if i add a cover to the smartphone but it's money guys it's money you are investing in it don't do what i am doing i handle my smartphones with a lot of care that's why i don't put cover but sometimes accident happen and i one accident has already happened with the lenovo k5 plus this mode is uh, uh soft over this uh, ba this back it is a shiny finish this is not a shiny finish but uh, the leather back makes uh, adds friction and uh, this uh, makes it less slippery from your hand and this is great in indeed isn't it now uh, now let me go ahead and say uh, tell you about the design pattern over here here you have a flash here you have a camera it is a rear camera and it is 8 megapixel camera and it has been already mentioned uh, here and you can see that yes it is an 8 megapixel auto focus camera and then uh, you also have a 5 megapixel camera on the front now let us go uh, you have have a speaker over here and, and then on the bottom you do not have anything only 4g is written over here look how good the leather back is looking uh, leather uh, finished the back is looking actually i should have seen that now here you have the volume rockers over here and these volume rockers are do not have a power button over here uh, the power button has been provided here separately so these the power button and the volume rocker are on the separate locations while here you can see that the volume rocker and the power button on are on the same side and the other side is plain and clear i actually love this kind of pattern where the volume rocker and the volume rockers and the power button are on one side only but here they chose uh, to keep them separate and i respect the decision of the company because it does not make any difference it does not make a smartphone good or bad now here you can see that you have a front camera here and then you have uh, the sensors here and here you have a uh, front speakers and then uh, here you have a uh, home button and then list button then back button and here you have specification mentioned on the box anyways and now let's open the display and uh, you can see the display is flickering it's because of the amulet display and the strength of the uh, and the strength of the display over here i don't know if it is hd display or not but uh, it is clearly written over here that it has a 5 inch hd amoled display i have to see if it's full hd or not i'll come to know by seeing some specification on websites now here they have uh, installed all the apps that are needed actually they have also uh, provided some apps of their own they have provided a game called bubble bash and then they have provided a zombie infection to game i have never uh, played this game but prince of persia i have played this game then midnight uh, pool 2 they have provided and uh, then they have many very many apps on this uh, smartphone now uh, you can uh, see that one note have also been provided i'm a big fan of one note but that's on the computer not on the smartphone on smartphone i like using keep uh, google keep and that's one of the most interesting android apps to have uh, there in the market i have actually used a lot of those the uh, what you call it uh, 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 notes i have uh, a lot of notes on google keep and you can see that i actually use it on the daily basis i whenever i find a thing i just record it and place it over there and uh, now let me show you the about section of this smartphone so that you can see what this smartphone provides in terms of everything and you can see that it also has quick settings which is not present in any other smartphone and this smartphone has that quick settings and now then 
uh, also we will look into various other settings like uh, yeah you can also directly look into uh, the uh, what you call the data you see you can directly change the sound settings you can ch directly change the settings this way you can also change the themes but i don't uh, think there are many themes you can actually download more themes for by going on that uh, on that site and now let us see about device section here on about device you can see that all of these informations is available you can see the model number over there i hope it is visible here from here uh, yeah it is now vis clearly visible the model section is clearly visible now now you can see that it is sm j320 f then the device name is samsung galaxy j3 2016 and then you have a legal information and then battery uh, the status and yes uh, which means that this will show you the battery status now let me go to the model number yeah no it is not showing it is software info so here they have provided software info, info separately it is android 5.1.1 and the base button version you can see the kernel version you can also see that build number you can see that se for android status you can see that this all of these things does not define a smartphone at all all but whenever i show a smartphone to a friend all he does is goes to about the smartphones about device section then sees things i don't know what he is going to get by things they already know what uh, specification the smartphone would be by just uh, going to the website that they can open on their on their uh, web on their mobile phones but no they have to go inside there and see what what will they get with this by seeing the model number over here it is just uh, sm j320 f it is all that is written over here and, uh, and the person who owns the smartphone can uh, tell you how much ram the smartphone has it has 1 gb of small 1.5 gb of smartphone uh, ram the owner can tell you now uh, let me talk about the touch for a bit and uh, I have since I have used a lot of smartphone I can tell you how the touch of the Samsung feels like the other smartphone that I have used they had not so terrible touch <laughs> yeah actually the but the uh, the touch on the Samsung Galaxy J3 2016 is indeed very fast and I love this fact uh, this feature of Samsung uh, this thing about Samsung is that uh, their touch is very good unlike the touch of the other smartphone companies the touch of Huawei is something that I dislike more the most but the, but the touch of Lenovo is low but the touch of the uh, other smartphones like uh, the Samsung the HTC they are very fast they are very smooth you will love them and you will definitely love them you also have one more you know, the thing that uh, the, you can actually uh, change how it uh, uh, gives you the ui it is the basic ui i selected a basic ui you can actually go ahead and change that and uh, make into the samsung's uh, typical uh, ui but i would not like to do that this is actually how the original google uh, android looks like so this is the display and you can see that it is an amoled display and it is clearly very beautiful display the smartphone is beautiful everything is beautiful on this device device and uh, now i will tell you about the top features of this smartphone i will tell to show you how to uh, install the sim card and sd card on this smartphone i will show you everything i will cover every single tutorial i will give you tips and tricks stay tuned on my channel and subscribe uh, to get no, new um, youtube videos uh, which you can see it of course now this is it thanks for watching we will meet next time in another video until then have a good day